What if we could mimic the benefits of exercise through medicine? We're here at UF's Cancer and Genetics Research Center to learn more. Tom, tell us more about who you are and what you do. My name is Tom Burris and I'm the director of the UF Genetics Institute and uh, my lab works on developing uh, drugs that uh, mimic exercise. Tell us more about the success of your latest research project. So my lab works on two different perceptors and we've been working on some of these for as long as 20 years uh, that we've seen actually mimic benefits of exercise, in particular endurance exercise. So as we've developed these, we've found that we were to give those to rodents, they are able to exercise for considerably longer. And we don't necessarily want to use that as an endpoint, but of course exercise is a great benefit uh, for many diseases, including diabetes, obesity, and, and aging. What are some of the physiological benefits of exercise that would help these patients? So one, of course, if, if they're type 2 diabetic or obese, they cause weight loss. And uh, indeed, these, these compounds do cause weight loss and also improved insulin sensitivity. Uh, so they have anti-diabetic activity. Uh, in terms of uh, aging muscle, they improve muscle strength and uh, they improve endurance. Uh, so we see improved uh, muscle function in those uh, treated animals. Why is it so important to provide these benefits for them through medicine? So as I'm sure you're aware, uh, many people who have these diseases can't exercise very much. Uh, many individuals with severe obesity are not able to exercise. Uh, of course, with uh, diabetes, many people are not able to exercise. And of course, as we age, uh, our ability to exercise just decreases naturally. So these types of, of medicines will improve uh, physiological processes in these individuals without necessarily having to physically exercise as much, or they may get them to a more healthy uh, standard of living where they can also in, uh, exercise with a physical uh, activity and these agents could lead to healthier aging. For more information on this novel research, stay tuned for updates from U.S. Genetic Institute.